Hi there, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make some really nice guitar afro beats in FL Studio, and I'm so sure you guys will love it. Without further ado, let's get started. So, here we are inside of FL Studio, and the very first thing I would like to start out with is this amazing guitar sample I found inside of Afro Vault Production Suite, and it sounds like this. And the sample already has the tempo information you know attached to it and i'm going to just follow through and change my tempo to 105. having done that i'll drag the loop into the playlist next up guys since this is a sample i would like to you know flip it in some ways that you know it sounds different from the original version and what i would love to do first is to sync it to the tempo by changing the mode to stretch then next up i would like to pitch it down like two semitones so that it's different from the original sample and it's going to sound like this Yeah, so I love it the way it's sounding now because it's a little bit darker. Although it's not having a lot of low end attached to it, which is going to lead me to the next thing I will be doing. I'll send it to a mixer track and then you know cut off the low end by using the fruity parametric EQ2. And I'm going to use this preset just to cut the low end off. <laughs> Yeah, so having done this guys the next thing i would love to do is to make this guitar sample really sound nice even sound more better and to do that i'm going to add in some reverb first of all i'm going to send in a reverb and i'm going to be using my favorite reverb which is the viola vintage verb such an amazing reverb sound guys so i'm just going to send some into this guitar <laughs> Yeah, it's sounding nice already. Yes, yeah, so the beat is taking shape already. And what I would like to do next is to add in some chords. And the first chord I will be adding is a static pad. And I'm going to show you what I mean when I see a static pad. I'm going to load in a contact library and when i mean i'm going to play a static chord i'm going to play a source chord and it's going to sound like this So I'm not following through with the chord progression of the guitar sample. What I'm just doing is playing a source chord. If you play piano, you will be familiar with that term. And um, that source chord literally goes with every point the chord plays. So it's a source chord and I'm calling it a static part at this point. So I'm going to record that in and see the way it sounds. So having done that guys, I'm going to go in, you know, and quantize my recording. The next stop, I also want to, you know, duplicate it. And I'm just going to, you know, drag it like this. Yeah. And we have this. to really even make things really nice i'm going to consolidate this part so i have it in an audio format so this is what we have so far So 
So next up, guys, I'll be adding a piano sound since this is more like a soulful guitar Afrobeat, just to you know keep the old soul thing going on. So I'm going to be making use of this amazing piano sound that I have here, and I'm going to play something in line with the chord progression that we have already. Yeah, so pretty much what I'll be playing is just the chord progression without too many things going on because for the main guitar sample, there's a lot going on in it already. So I don't want to, you know, make the beat choked up with so many things because this beat might still end up with an artist and we need to create some space for the vocals. So I'm going to record the piano chords in right away. So I really love that and what I'm going to do next is to quantize it. Also to you know add some flavor to my piano sound i can also go into adding some reverb the same reverb i added to the guitar sample i'm just going to add in a little bit of reverb into the piano and it's going to sound like this after doing that i can exaggerate it yeah but i don't want it to scatter so i really just want a little bit of it yeah straight away guys i'm going to add in a counter melody which is not my main melody but something to you know just accompany these chords that we have here and to do that i'm going to load in lounge lizard ep4 to do that so i'm just going to play it through and look for a befitting counter melody so let's go guys <laughs> so i think that can actually work it's not something not too busy and um it's not the actual melody but something counter melody that you know can accompany the chords that we have here so i'm going to record that in straight away So far guys this is what we have been able to you know create we have the guitar sample we have a steel pad we have the piano chord and then we have this e piano counter melody then straight away guys i would love to add in a bass to this amazing beat that we are creating just to you know give it that low end and for the bass sound i'm going to pull up this amazing contact library that i love to use it's called sub zero 808 and it has some really really nice bass sound 
So um, let's see what we are able to come up with. So guys, I'm really loving what I'm trying to come up with with the bass sound and I'm going to try and record something in straight away. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I want to play with the bass sound and all together we have this yeah so guys our beat is actually almost done already you know just to do some couple of stuff and next up i would like to add in a drum loop also from the afro vault production suit and i'm going to look for a befitting drums that can go with this mm, i love this so let's give this a try and see if it fits into what we want. So guys, this drum loop is absolutely befitting. It just complemented all that we have been creating since. So lastly, guys, I like to come up with a melody that can befit and, you know, go with what we have here already. So I'm going to load up this amazing sound inside of Nexus. It's a very popular sound and it's also one of my favorite sounds, lead sounds I love to use inside of Nexus. I know the sound is called Dance Piccolo. Yeah, so we'll try and come up with a befitting melody to this bit. I think uh, I really love that and I want to record it in guys because this beat alone is already sounding nice but you know adding this melody to it is also going to take it to another level so let's record that in guys <laughs> guys that's absolutely amazing and um, i'm going to go in to quantize some paint you know just so as to ensure that the melody is in good shape <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah so guys this is absolutely amazing and okay the last thing i would love to do you know on this beat um is to now add in some drum fuse and some effect sounds and i'm also going to go into the afro vault production suite because i literally made this beat you know just using sound from the afro vault production suite which i would ensure to leave the link in the description so that you guys can get yours and make some absolute you know bangers from that amazing production suit next up, i'm going to go into the drum feel collection and look for a very befitting drum feel that can go with this bit Yeah, I love this. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, love it. Yeah, I can use this impact sound also. Alright, so guys, this is the final result. Yeah, so guys that will be all for this video i hope you were able to learn something from the beat creation process right from where we started from and right on to where we are right now and i will ensure to leave the link to this amazing pack that we got the guitar sample from which is called the afro world production suite in the description so that you can also get access to this amazing production suit and if you find value in this video kindly hit that like button and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing to this channel for subsequent and amazing update see you guys in the next one peace out